BC has its own island, Vancouver Island, which I'm convinced must be the worst island in history, and I'm including the one run by Jeffrey Epstein. Ontario's just like Jerry Hall. It's old and white and thinks it's cool because it knows one brown guy. <laughs> Guys, give it up for Ontario versus British Columbia. There we go. Jerry Hall repping Ontario. G1 Gill repping BC. <laughs> Jerry Hall will roast BC first. Give it up, Ontario. Jesus, I know I'm roasting BC, but they sent an actual fucking Sasquatch. <laughs> And first of all, I want to assure you guys there's something, okay? I, I am not depressed at all. There you go. I'm glad I got to go first. I was so anxious to do this when Danish asked me to see if I wanted to roast BC. I just couldn't fucking wait. Like, there's not a guy from Hamilton that doesn't want to that doesn't want to get in a 4x4 four four and run over some hippie drum circle. Like, fuck BC. I mean, like, I, I'm dressed like this because, you know, I'm from Ontario. My favorite thing to do is, like, watch, you know, hockey, watch football. Uh, he's dressed like that because he's from BC. His favorite thing to do is watch his wife get fucked by other men. Just, I'm just kidding. Where's his wife going to find a man in BC? <laughs> no girl wants to get fucked by a vegan with a man bun. <laughs> Wearing a hemp shirt that says feminist on it. Like... <laughs> Uh, and by the way, I am sorry uh, to the people from BC. I am sorry if I offended you, but it's literally impossible not to. You are the Karen of provinces. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care what season it is, BC is always full of snowflakes. <laughs> That's why I think the BC Lions represent BC very good because the lion, it's essentially just a giant pussy. Like, you guys, you guys in BC, you can't even do violence right. Like, your Stanley Cup riot was like four stabbings and two car fires. That's a Thursday night at Tim's in Hamilton. <laughs> like, BC is the westernmost part of Canada, right? It's literally the swipe left of provinces. And if you look at it, not only is it on the left side, it even droops down a bit. It's the Bell's palsy of Canada's face. I swear to God, that's why God put the Rockies where they are so the rest of Canada didn't have to look at BC. BC is famous for its totem poles, you know, and when we, uh, when we out here, when we see a totem pole, we're freaked out by the way the faces are on it, and then when you get to BC, you realize that's the way people look. <laughs> BC girls all have pockmarks on their faces. Not from acne, that's just where her dad put out the cigarettes. Oh, then you're going to hate this next one. <laughs> That's why there are no serial rapists in BC, because you don't make that mistake twice. <laughs> there's, 
There's five million people in BC. There'd be more, but you know, the Chinese one child policy. In Ontario, Mandarin is a restaurant. In BC, it's an official language. <laughs> Chinese people come into BC the same way their severed feet do from offshore. And yet, they stay in BC. They don't come to the rest of Canada. They just manage to stay in BC. So thank you for being Canada's lint trap. BC has its own island, Vancouver Island, which I'm convinced must be the worst island in history, and I'm including the one run by Jeffrey Epstein. Because <laughs> at least on Epstein's island, some of the people were fuckable. <laughs> that one could have gone either way, I know. That's right. I mean, I've been to BC and I think it sucks in my references Hamilton. <laughs> it is so rainy there and yet somehow women around Juwan still stay dry. I don't I just BC is weird. It's like it's it's also it's forgettable but at the same time it's like violating. It's like you had a drink with Bill Cosby. Hey, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were going to settle in Vancouver, in, in BC, right? Because being billionaires, they could afford a bungalow there. But they didn't stay. That's the weird thing. Imagine, you're from England. I don't know if you've been from England lately. England right now is just like this decaying cesspool. Are there filthy streets are filled with these like uh, these these uh, inbred dipshits? They're jobless, with like fetal alcohol syndrome and decaying teeth. And they got to BC and they were like, ew, this is worse. <laughs> and they should have stayed in BC because they have some qualities that BC people have because he's a quitter and she's a bitch. <laughs> okay, ooh, sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've never had a Meghan Markle fan in the crowd before. Uh, at this point, I was going to make a, a joke about uh, Juwan uh, driving a cab, but that would be wrong, because he's from BC, he's obviously unemployed. <laughs> I mean, literally, the province is shaped like an unemployment check. I mean, people in BC are lazier than Forrest Whitaker's eye. <laughs> Speaking of Forrest, that's what BC reminds me of, the movie Forrest Gump, because every guy's a retard, <laughs> and every girl's a slut. Now, I recognize some of you don't like the word retarded, and they don't like it in BC. They are very sensitive to people with you know, uh, cognitive impairments. As a matter of fact, BC has the world's biggest school for special needs, uh, Simon Fraser. <laughs> they also have UBC, the University of Basically China. <laughs> but, good thing, there are no school shootings in BC because school shootings are an act of hatred and it doesn't count if your victims want to die. <laughs> There's just no hope there. The BC coat of arms is basically two teenagers huffing gas in a shed. <laughs> People in Alberta talk about leaving Canada. People in BC talk about leaving the garage door closed when they start the car. The luckiest people in BC are the ones who were molested as kids because at least they have childhood memories. Oh my God. <laughs> and maybe somebody hugged them. <laughs> Massless, massive, massive homeless population in BC. Uh, it's decreased by one because Juwan's here tonight. <laughs> at least in Ontario, the homeless have the courtesy to die off every winter. BC, it's too warm, they just get musty. 
Uh, BC doesn't care about its homeless people. The only person who tried to solve the homeless problem in BC was Robert Picton. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Robert Picton was a pig farmer who murdered 26 prostitutes. Or in other words, one of the few people in BC with two jobs. Actually, they had 60 prostitutes go missing in BC before the cops even noticed. But to be fair, it's really hard to tell a BC prostitute from any other Vancouver woman. <laughs> Losing you. Okay. I got one more. I got one more. One thing I'm glad about, though, one thing I'm glad about, is that the fallout from the Fukushima nuclear power plant is finally reaching BC. Because the only thing that'll kill a cancer that big is radiation. Thank you. Give it up, Jerry Hall, Ontario! For the rebuttal, G1 Gill, BC, give it up! All right. All right. I am, I am roasting Ontario tonight in downtown Toronto. <laughs> which is hard because no one knows less about the province of Ontario than the people of Toronto. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Ask a person from Toronto, what's Ontario? It's that place where Blue Mountain is, right? <laughs> and, and people go like, what's, what's the best thing about Ontario? The diversity. Go 20 minutes north of Toronto. <laughs> It goes from Wagwan fam to out for a rip there, bud, really quickly, okay? <laughs> fam knows. <laughs> no, it's so white in Northern Ontario, the snow gives I have dream, I have a dream speeches. <laughs> no. Ontario's just like Jerry Hall. It's old and white and thinks it's cool because it knows one brown guy. Uh, Jerry talked about drugs. We do love drugs in BC, I'll be honest with you. And you can tell the difference of the drug cultures between BC and Ontario through our homeless populations. Because our drug of choice in, heroin, in, in BC is heroin. And you can tell in our homeless because they just sleep, man. They're really <laughs> just taking naps everywhere. <laughs> and they're like deep heroin sleeps. Uh, the drug of choice in Ontario is clearly crack because <laughs> Your homeless are active, man. <laughs> <laughs> they are out there. They have, they have stuff going on. <laughs> I have never seen change asked for so aggressively in my life before. A dude walked up to me the other day. Hey, you have any change? I was like, whoa, dude, chill. Just chill. <laughs> yeah, man, I got you. He asked me for change in an I'm mugging you voice. You know how fucking crazy that is? <laughs> but I, so I gave him a quarter and he, he goes, do you have a loony? And I was like, I didn't think this was a negotiation. I thought <laughs> it was a pay what you can kind of thing. <laughs> no, you guys love your crack in Ontario. You guys have crackhead tendencies. Your whole pro you guys are all kind of crackheads. Because, because you, this is true, you guys have the most debt of any sovereign government on the planet. You guys are broke. That is very crack. You guys sold the 407. How broke do you have to be to sell a road? That is some crackhead shit, man. What are they just sitting in parliament like, oh fuck man, what are we gonna do? Just, uh, just sell a provincial park next, just fucking. Uh. I don't know, can, how much do you think we can get to the CN Tower? The CN Tower, how much do you think? It looks like a crack pipe, just fuck it, just sell it. How about, how about Hydro One? Can we sell Hydro One? Oh yeah, you did fucking sell Hydro One too. That's like, the, that's like a crackhead equivalent of like, honey, I sold the sink. Man. You guys are so crackhead. You guys elected a crackhead mayor. Rob Ford. 
you guys had a crackhead running the capital city of Ontario. And it's, okay, it's not that he did crack, it's that he went and bought his own crack. You, he can't, like, send a guy? I saw the video, he's chilling at the guy's house. Like, what the fuck is that? Dude, if I was this dealer, I'd be like, yo, can you get the, what are you doing here? Get the fuck out of here. Go fix Eglinton. <laughs> and what'd you guys do after the crackhead mayor in Ontario? You're like, well, I don't, we'll make his brother the premier. <laughs> like immediately after. You're still free. And Doug Ford's sober. Like Rob was at least fun. <laughs> Doug Ford is sober. Doug Ford getting elected, by the way, this, you ruined democracy by electing Doug Ford, okay? Because democracy, the idea is candidates present the best ideas and the voters vote on what they think is best for the province. Doug Ford just goes, oh, I know, one dollar for one beer. <laughs> Buck up beer. And you in Ontario is like, sounds good to me. What kind of student body elections are you fucking running here? <laughs> His whole platform was a buck of beer. You bought a buck of beer off a guy who doesn't drink. <laughs> you know how fucking crazy that is? He's like, he, he, if he drank, he would know how disgusting the proposition of one dollar beer sounds. <laughs> what is in there? <laughs> it's piss water from Lake Ontario. Mixed with Kathleen Wynn's tears. That's what. <laughs> and, and he's gonna win again. There's an election coming up. What is it about this guy? Do you use this little shovel? Is that what you love? To fucking... I saw that shit. He got chased off by people with regular shovels. Like, fuck. Go fix Eglinton. Just. <sighs> Let's talk about Terry Fox. A hero from British Columbia, lost his leg to cancer, persevered, ran across Canada with one leg, crossed the border into Ontario and died. <laughs> he persevered, he entered Ontario and lost the will to live. It was the marathon of hope and Ontario killed that hope. I also don't like how you name things in Ontario. London, Ontario, Paris, Ontario, Kingston, Ontario. Why do you keep naming shitty towns after already awesome places? <laughs> yeah, I wanna change the names. I wanna change the names of these places. London, Ontario should be Baghdad, Ontario. <laughs> Paris, Ontario should be Cleveland, Ontario. And Kingston, Ontario should be Toronto, Ontario. <laughs> there is a place called Swastika, Ontario. I'm gonna say that again, it's called Swastika, Ontario. Also, also the place of the home to the Toronto Police Academy. That's where they get trained. Take a look at who's yelling at the most <laughs> diversity has the most racist police force. Great job, Toronto. Great guy. You also have a Catholic school board. You st a publicly funded Catholic school board. What were you think? The government was like, yo, we need somebody to run the schools. Who's good with kids? Oh, I know. You let the Catholic Church run schools and you let the Leafs play hockey when both of those organizations have a terrible history of ruining young talent. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, don't worry. Your, your tax is paid for those rapes, so. 
Um, you guys have a children's hospital? Speaking of kids in Ontario, call, call, so we have a children's hospital back, back home. It's called the BC Children's Hospital, which I thought was a pretty straightforward name. Then I saw yours. What did you guys call your children's hospital? Sick kids. What kind of a fucked up name? It's sick kids for a children's hospital. It's like they were making it and somebody was like, hey man, what are we putting in this building? <laughs> Mostly sick kids, I think. <laughs> Perfect, put on the side of the building, let's go home. Right next to the old Fox Senior Care Center. <laughs> and the junkie rehab clinic. Just all <laughs> Okay, I, uh, I gotta say one more thing before I go. Um, Ontario, can you just, if it's minus six degrees outside, but it feels like minus 16, it's minus 16. <laughs> what the fuck is a wind chill? <laughs> oh, it feels like minus 16 outside. Yeah, that's what temperature is. You can't do that with anything else. I can't be like, oh no, babe, my deck is eight inches. It just feels like four. <laughs> I'm achieving guilt. Thank you so much for coming out, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, moment of truth. <laughs> Make some noise if you liked Jerry Hall repping Ontario. Make some noise if you like G1 Gill repping BC. Oh! Winner, British Columbia, give it up. <laughs> One more time, guys. Make some noise for these two.